Yo, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, yeah, overall, things have been good in terms of getting back into the gym and training, but it's really, it's really hit me how, how much external influences now are paying a part in my motivation to go to the gym. You know, the gym used to be my answer to frustration, to pain, to anything negative in my world, really. I would go to the gym, bag a decent workout, and that would be enough to lift my mood and lift me out of whatever it is that I was in. And also, thinking about it, and I've just had this thought process now, where I've been a PT for the last 18 years, um, I've always had to go to the gym. So therefore, there was always an external force pushing me to the gym. And now, I'm in a position where I'm not personal, not PT and um, actively anymore. I've literally got to get myself out of the house and get to the gym and, and I've, yeah, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. You know, things like my car, <laughs> my car coming off the road and family stresses and strains and other, other certain external circumstances has really played a part in me getting to the gym. And I have to admit, there have been a few times where, again, I've got to the doors, been sat in the car, looked at it and gone, not today, not today. I have to admit though, that those days are far less now. Those days are far less and I'm making it there far more. As you can see, I've literally just come out of the gym. There you go. Literally just come out of the gym now. Had a wicked arm session. Um, weren't feeling the greatest this morning. So just decided to focus on my biceps and just did yeah, every exercise I could think of within the time frame that I had to smash them to pieces. And yeah, I feel a lot better now. I feel a lot better now, I'm a bit de-stressed. So yeah, we're all good. As I said, it's just been, yeah, it's been a bit, bit of an, a, a journey for me. Yeah, it's been a bit of a journey for me. That's the easiest way to put it. But one that, one that I'm persevering with, one that I'm persevering with. It's 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 interesting being on the other foot when you're a when you're a personal trainer and competitive bodybuilder and what have you. When you hear other people saying, "I just couldn't get to the gym," and this and the other, not that you look down on it or discount it, but because it's not the same in your world, sometimes it's difficult to understand it. You know, sometimes it's difficult to understand it. You're like, "Right, we'll just take this. It's, it's an hour. It's two hours. It's whatever." You know, but. I've really, I've really struggled uh, finding or allocating the time. And I suppose if I'm honest, I've always had that issue, but where I've had to be in the gym early, it's been okay for my head because nothing else is open. Business hours aren't, aren't operational for me to train really early doors. And also having a young, a young, a new young baby for the first time, this is, that's, that's also really hit me as well. Cause it's, it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. Sorry, I need to put my hand over the camera there. Yeah, it's been a challenge. But nonetheless, here we are. Here we are. One thing that I, I would say that has really has really helped me because I, I isolated a problem and I touched on this in a, in a, on a previous video where I've got lots of old videos and photos of me in a much fitter state than I am now. Um, it really played on my self-esteem. It really played on my self-esteem, looking at myself in the mirror and going, well, but you're not what you used to be. You know, looking at me, the training videos and going, yeah, but your strength's not where it used to be. You know, so for, and I've had to really focus on going, this is not a journey back. This is a journey forward. I'm not trying to get back to where I was. I'm trying to get to where I'm going. You know, and I've had to really focus on that mentality because the depression situation for me in that respect, if I allow my mind to go there is real it's real looking back over our previous videos and going man you fell off and allowing myself to hear that situation going off in my head is it really does play a part and i suppose it's added to a lot of the negativity i've had towards going to the gym and some of the things that i've had to i've had to overcome so if you guys if anybody out there watching this is in a position where you are where you used you used to the gym used to be a place of sanctuary for you you've taken some time out um maybe collected a few extra <laughs> a few extra love handles along the way and now going back into the gym take the word back out of it you're going to the gym take the word back out of it you're not trying to get back into shape you're getting into shape take the word back out of it you're not trying to get as 
back to as strong as you were. You get into you go into as strong as you're about to be. Just that switching mentality, and it's a daily thing. It certainly is for me. I've got to sit there and daily, every day, start off right, right. It's not going back. It's going forward, and really plant that in my head. And that has made the most a massive difference in for me, in terms of the different how much I've got out of a training session. You know, especially when training with others especially when training with others where you used to be able to run with the pack and now because of the time out you're getting your strength back le levels back up you know when I listen to the pe the personal trainer side of me I can hear me telling me you know what that's just part of the journey you're gonna have to accept that where you are it's gonna take a little bit of time to get your strength back up to where it's but where it, where, it, where it once was you know um I can hear that but at the same time when I'm taking a look in in, in the mirror and I'm taking a look in the mirror and I'm looking back at the videos and I'm taking a look at what I look like now compared to where I was and like that it's it really does play on my mind. So it's been a daily thing to literally go, look, look, this is a different time round that was then, this is now. We're not going back, we're moving forwards. Moving forwards to where you're supposed to where you're not where you're supposed to be, where you're destined to be and going to where you want to be. You know, and really holding on to that. That's really, really massively, massively helped me. Massively helped me. So I'm going to keep the videos coming. I'm going to keep the videos coming. We're going to continue filming the training sessions. Um, the enjoyment factor is really starting to rise for me. Getting into the gym and being part of that, being in the environment and actually lifting again is really doing a lot for me. So it's, it's, yeah, I'm back to enjoying it again. It's not so much of a chore. Getting to the gym's still a bit of an issue, still a bit of a, still a, bit of a fight, but once I'm there, it's okay. It's okay. Anyway. Here's a highlight from, here's a highlight reel from, when was it? Two days ago now. Two days ago, shoulder session with my boy Jay. Um, yeah, you'll hear the bullying in the video because he would not let me back down from anything. And I'm thankful for that. And there's a note for all of you out there that are training and training with training partners. Your training partner is key, absolutely key to how much you get out of a workout. If the training partner you're training with is the type of training partner that lets you get away with stuff, they're probably not the right one for you, and you might want to um, <laughs> you might want to you might want to change them. But anyway, Jay has not Jay, <laughs> Jay stands stands for none of it from me. There's no slacking. There's no slacking, and as you'll see from the video, the training sessions are always pretty intense. Anyway, thanks for listening. I'll see you guys in the forwards. Enjoy the clip. <laughs> Thank you, empty. There you go. 
There you go. 